According to the World Malaria Observatory, with 2.2% of global malaria cases and deaths, and 2% of global malaria deaths, Ghana is among the 15 highest burden malaria countries in the world. It accounts for 4% of malaria cases in West Africa. In 2022, WHO estimated there were 5.3 million malaria cases with 11,557 estimated deaths in Ghana. To help eliminate malaria from the country, Bliss GVS, a pharmaceutical company, has donated malaria drugs to the National Malaria Elimination Program. Head of Finance, Dr. Joel Na Balabari, who was part of the team that received a donation from Bliss GVS, expressed his gratitude to the team and announced where and how they will start sharing the drugs. So first of all, we want to thank um, Bliss GVS Pharma in helping to support the World Malaria Day, which happens every year on 25th of April. And for this particular year, we are going to Crow District because as part of our agenda in our elimination agenda, we targeted Crow District with some of our new interventions. So we are going full scale. We are starting with Crow District in our elimination agenda. And um, I want to thank you for these drugs. And that will be one of the things we will use during the World Malaria Day in Crow District. So that is where we'll be going in terms of trying to create awareness on our new interventions and how we can be able to help eliminate malaria in the Crowa district. And we are able to do that. We can now scale up to the various district and see how we can be able to totally eliminate malaria from the country. He emphatically stated that it wasn't going to take long in distributing the drugs to the health centers that need them. It's just a process. And because we are the one spearheading the World Malaria Day, it just goes through our stores and directly it goes to the district. Same day. It goes to the district same day. He said there has been a decline in malaria cases and deaths caused by malaria and hopes that with the new interventions in place, there will one day be a malaria-free Ghana. We've seen prevalence and the death rate going down. But you know, malaria is always seasonal. In the rainy seasons, the prevalence starts to go up. But of course, we have various interventions to be able to, you know, get this prevalence going down. We have the SMC for the seasonal malaria chemical prevention in seven northern regions. So at the rains coming, prevalence will go up, but with this SMC, it helps to bring these prevalences down. So yes, death rates are coming down, and we are hoping that with these new interventions in place, we will one day get the malaria free Ghana. This initiative not only makes malaria drugs freely available to all, but also serves as a crucial stepping stone towards the ultimate goal of eradicating malaria from the country.